everyone, I'm Kelly Wallace. Welcome to the Conversation Thread. Joining us today, Liz Henry, one of our eye voices on iVillage, and you know her from the six year itch. Also, Nicole Feliciano, the creator and force behind Mom Trends, and Carol Kane, the creator and force behind New York City Mama. Three fabulous women and bloggers. Thank you for being here. Thank Great you. To you here. So, and Liz, you might appreciate this study. A study in Britain recently that looked at kids being raised by a married couple versus kids being raised by two adults who don't happen to be married. And guess what they found? No cognitive, social, or emotional difference between whether the parents were married or whether the adults were raising them together without that marriage certificate. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah I'm I excited. Know. I'm not married. <laughs> I've been with the same person for 10 years. We're like Brangelina, but unsexy with less children. So we are thrilled. Now, as married women, right, I mean, just think about it. Do you, what do you make of it? Do you think, well, no, if kids are raised to a married couple, if it's official, they're more likely to have a better start in life than if kids aren't? I don't think it makes um, any difference, the labels. Uh, if the kids are in a loving home, be it uh, two dads, two moms, um, unmarried, as long as you've got a supportive, stable environment, I think the kids are going to turn out great. Right, and Carol, you had said you're a mom, you were a single mom for four years. I mean, how, that's to me, how do you do it when you don't have that partner to turn to and say, take him, because he's driving me crazy. I love that the, you know, that this study came out as it did because Single parents have a lot already. They stigmatize plenty. So, I mean, I agree. And I, right now, the kids just have the advantage that they get to play me and my husband against each other, you know. So, otherwise, other, otherwise they're fine. Right, so mom says no, yeah. and they can run to daddy. That's totally. the only, only totally. big difference. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this other story, you know, it's so interesting because it's really gotten so much attention. Some 40 states are now saying that they're not going to require the teaching of cursive in schools. They're going to leave it up to the school districts to decide, is this kind of the right way to go, Carol, in the digital age, or a very scary thing that our kids won't know how to write in cursive? I'm not sure if it's scary, but it definitely is sad that that creates creative outlet is being taken away. I mean, honestly, you know, the, the argument is like, let's put the money elsewhere and so forth. But I noticed that a lot of times when they take something out like, you know, gym or band or, you know, cursive, it's it's replaced with testing and replaced with, with you know, just a lot more pressure that our kids don't need. So I'm kind of sad by that. Uh, what, are you sad, Nicole? Not at all. I think uh, <laughs> cursive is, is a total anachronism. I grew up um, in a, eight years of Catholic school and cursive was like a full-time job. Uh, so I'm happy that it will be um, freed up from my children's upbringing. They have keyboards now. Um, as long as they can print legibly, I'm good with it. And it, cur cursive can be like calligraphy. It can be an, an outlet, a creative outlet, or um, a hobby or an after after school activity. Liz, hobby or vital? Hieroglyphics, <laughs> just get rid of it. Uh, if, if the money goes somewhere uh, like art or gym, great, perfect. In uh, five years, kids won't even know what a pencil is. But what about those handwritten notes, right? To Nana notes. or That's Grandma or... Work. They can text <laughs> Nana. <laughs> T-U-4 yeah, totally. gift. Oh my goodness. I'm the old fashioned one. I say keep cursive. Come on. The Saul children will be the only ones writing in cursive. All right, time for the whip around segment. Quick answers to this question. What is the double standard you have at home? Liz, we'll begin with you. Something you can do, but your daughter just can't. Curse like a sailor. And I told her that when she gets older, she can too. Oh, she can? Yeah, when All right. she gets older, but not, not now. Not now. Nicole? Uh, Glee is it's certainly my guilty pleasure. And occasionally the kids will, you know, it's walk by and they'll see, um, you know, it's something on my computer having to do with it. I'm like, oh no, that's a trashy show. Um, but it's just, <laughs> it's just for mommy. And there's mommy. So the minute they're down, right? 9.30 at night, she's glued to her TV set. What about you, Carol? I had to ask my husband because I'm perfect. Um, um, oh, so no, 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 no double nothing, standard. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, but he says that my double standard is that I insist that the house be clean, but I myself have, you know, leave little trails of messiness around. Do as I say, not as I do. Right, as long as I have to clean it up. All right, Carol, Nicole, Liz, thank you so much for being here. Thank Great you. to have you. And thanks to all of you for watching. I'm Kelly Wallace. This is the Conversation Thread. We'll see you next time.